On the main channel, I had covered the massive new update to Gemini 2.5 Pro, and it's seriously a game changer. This upgrade marks a significant leap forward in coding, especially for front-end web development. It's not just faster, it's smarter. Gemini 2.5 Pro can now handle tasks like refractoring backend systems, which was previously seen as something out of reach for most AI models. With a 1420 ELO score, it now ranks above Cloud 3.7 Sonnet in the web dev arena, marking it as a top contender in the large language model space for coding tasks. Just take a look at this real-time simulation powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro in one shot. You can see the prompt was sent in to generate the simulation, which is where it was capable of generating a simulation featuring dynamic lighting, a full day-night cycle, and much more, which is just insane to me. This is just one example of what this model is capable of doing. In my video, I showcase a lot more, which showcases the advanced features that this model is capable of doing. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, I already mentioned this before on the other video, but you can access it through the Gemini app as well as through AI Google Studio. But what we're going to be doing is taking a look at integrating this new powerful coding model within Klein. For those who do not know, Klein is an open source autonomous coding agent directly built within your IDE, whether that's VS Code, uh, Cursor, Windsurf, or many of the other IDEs that are out there capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, using the browser, and so much more fully autonomously or with your permission each step of the way. Now, this is where it is the best AI coding agent being paired with the Gemini 2.5 Pro which is gonna get you the best results outputted. Now guys, pairing these two together is gonna get you the best results because the Gemini 2.5 pricing is probably one of the best based off of the performance that you get from it. So to get started, you will need your ID. I recommend using VS Code. You can use Cursor as well, but then you can go ahead and install the client extension within Visual Studio Code by going over to the marketplace, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and then install it. Now make sure you have it on the latest version. And once you do have it on the latest version, make sure you restart the extension. And then on the left-hand panel, you should be able to access it over here. Uh, you'll see the client icon pop up. Now what you can do is head over to the settings tab. And then for the provider, you can either use client as a provider, open router, and so many other things. But if you're going to be using the Google Gemini API that you can access through, their studio which you can get completely for free with the free tier you can simply click on get api key generate a key here and then you can paste it in over here and then click done and save but make sure you select the gemini 2.5 pro and you select the latest model now guys when you're selecting the model make sure you select the gemini 2.5 pro preview 0325 i know this is the march version but within their discord the client discord they stated that if you're using gemini 2.5 pro preview it will automatically point to the new upgraded version so this way you will get access to the new upgraded model even though it states the march version they're going to change the name soon so keep that in mind also guys keep in mind that there is a rate limit within the free tier tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 because obviously they're not going to continuously give everything completely for free there's going to be a limit to it on a daily basis so just keep that in mind. So here's the first benchmark. This is where I had to create a SAS landing page. And this is the output that I got. This is a pretty sleek looking front end for a SAS landing page. With one shot, it was capable of generating this. You see there's animations, a placeholder for the image. Uh, there's a pricing tier uh, for a SAS website. And it did get the gist of this prompt done pretty quickly. Next up, I'm requesting Klein and the Gemini 2.5 Pro to create a CRM dashboard for me. And I also added that add as many features as you can. And this is because we're trying to test how well the model is in creatively focusing on new features on its own. So let's see what it actually ends up outputting for us. So it looks like it took approximately 40 cents, minusing the other project, which was the SAS landing page. But let's go ahead and open this up. And there we go. This is our SAS or our CRM dashboard. And we have the ability to actually add new customers, which is actually pretty cool. So let's just add something random. Mahi uh, etc. 
com, a random phone number, and then a company world of AI, and then save that customer. So you have the active functionality of adding customers. You have the ability to configure leads, your sales pipeline, adding tasks, reports, and then you have a settings tab. This is pretty decent in my opinion, and it looks actually really intuitive. Now, the generation I actually got from the Gemini app was actually slightly better looking than this, but this one actually has functional capabilities within the CRM dashboard. And obviously we can go back into client and edit certain things like improving the user interface. And just to give you reference, this is the CRM pro dashboard that was generated with a single prompt within the Gemini app. And you can see it has multiple different features to it. And that makes the CRM dashboard pretty intuitive. Now, this isn't related to client, but to showcase the promise as well as the type of quality that is outputted from this model, just take a look at this demo of a full simulation of 100 men versus one gorilla. Now, this is actually a trend that has been popping off on social media, but this depicts how 100 men would face off a gorilla. And this was all generated in one shot. The simulation showcases procedural characters, dynamic physics, and real-time logic that was fully all composed by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. And you can see there's a live uh, counter of how many humans are left. And it is also simulating the correct actions of how humans would be running away and fighting all in a group uh, against the gorilla. So this is actually insane to see how it was able to depict this. Overall, I ranked this new Gemini 2.5 Pro, the best coding model available for web development tasks, as well as for refractoring and editing. Especially with this large context window and the appeal for its pricing, it makes it a better choice over Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. That's my own preference, but I would like to see what you guys think about this model. I'll leave it a link in the description below so that you can explore Klein with this new model. Uh, I'll leave all the other links that I use there as well. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, follow me and join our Discord. Make sure you also follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out fellas.